Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today is the packing up your bows for shipping cheer bow edition. I have a few cheer bows for an order. As you can see here. And I do have some extra stuff that she placed a second order with that is going to ship along with it. But I'm going to show you how to how I pack the cheer bows to go into this box. I use a 12 by 9 by 4 box. This one is already pre-taped up, so it'll be easier to show you. I also use two pieces of tissue paper. I'm going to move this box out of the way really quick so I can fold up the tissue paper. why I folded it like that. <laughs> I usually just fold it in half. For some reason, my brain is not where it's supposed to be today. So I just fold the tissue paper in half. And like I said, I use two pieces for that. It really doesn't matter what color tissue paper you use. Um, that's all a personal preference. I just happened to hit Walmart after the after Christmas when everything's on sale and I buy as many packs of the white tissue paper as I can get. It lasts me throughout the year. White is a good year round color. So that's why I go with that one. But now you have your tissue paper folded, you're gonna get it in the box. I lay both in like this. And once your tissue paper is in, you're going to get the cheer bows to lay out in the box. Now, normally I lay them out like that, but I have other stuff, so I'm going to bump up that center one just a little bit more. Um, I always put in a thank you bag that has some stickers in it for my customers as well as a small bow just to say thank you. I appreciate your order. This, however, is for a customer who has been a cheer bow subscription box customer for, oh, four years. So I will randomly throw in little extra gifts for it as well. You wanna make sure everything, once you open the box, looks nice. Packaging is honestly one of the first things your customers will see when they open it. If it's packaged nicely, it gives them a nice experience with their order. And I also tuck in a little thank you card. It just says thank you for supporting my small business. Find us on social media with the links. That's in there fold over the tissue paper when everything is nice and it's just how you want it. I fold over the first side with no um, extra folding, but I will fold this one over a little bit and then bring it over. And I seal it with a pretty little thank you sticker. I get them in rolls on Amazon. If I can, I will link them down below or one similar to it. I don't know if Amazon still has the ones that I got. And see, I just seal it this way. When she opens up the box, this is what she's seeing. It's a nice, pretty presentation. And just like that. 
I am not going to seal this box up because the noise would be a lot. But what I also put on there are two additional stickers. All right, I'm gonna have to come back after I tape this up because this is gonna be really noisy, so I'll be right back. A few moments later. All right, we are back. Package is taped up because that lid was not staying on. I put two stickers on the top. They're just cute little ones. One says bow mail. The other one says love your new bow. Let everyone know. Snap, tag, share, and review. They also come on rolls that I got on Amazon. Again, if I can link these below, if they still have them, I will be more than happy to. They have a wide variety of them though. And I stick them on the top right and bottom right corners of the package. I also have a few that I have printed out myself. For instance, I have my business logo right there on the front. And that is just on an Avery label. It's one of the bigger ones. I uh, will link the label number and template on the design and print down below, as well as the Happy Mail ones I am about to put on. Well, I put one on, but this is what the Happy Mail one looks like. I just put those on the center. And there you go, everything is packed up. I will leave any pertinent links that I need to down below. And again, this is a 12 by nine by six box. Uh, it's bigger than my standard six by six by six boxes, just because, sorry, it's 12 by nine by four. <laughs> it's bigger than my standard six by six by six boxes because cheer bows don't fit comfortably in here. I will leave the link for where I buy these on Amazon as well. Um, again, all the pertinent links will be down below. If you liked this video and you would like to see more packing uh, tutorials, please comment down below and let me know. Also, if you like this video and you know somebody who could benefit pr from it, please like and share. It really helps with the algorithm. If you are not subscribed already, there is a subscribe button somewhere around here. Uh, click that subscribe button. Next, it will be the bell button. Click that, set your notifications to all so you're up, you are notified every time I upload a new video. I will be coming with a color palette challenge as well as the uh, TAL tall um, tumblers you can get at Walmart. I will be doing a vinyl decal on those coming up as well. So make sure to check out those videos. Also, <clears throat> at the end of the video, there will be a pop-up for my most recent video as well as a the playlist button. Please check all of those videos out. Also, make sure to check us out on Instagram. I am trying to get better with building that up. Um, if you have any video suggestions, you can comment there as well. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you again later. Bye. Mm -hmm.